Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mind Your Exam. So from this video, we will be starting our playlist on management information systems and this is the first video in the playlist. So let's understand what is an MIS or a management information system. So it consists of three words, management information and system. Let us understand the meaning of each of these words separately first. So management. Management basically refers to those people in an organization that run that organization and control that organization by taking certain decisions as and when required from time to time. So management basically refers to the top level uh, management or the bosses of an organization. It can be the vice chairperson or chairperson for an educational institute or the departmental head for a particular department of that institute. Or in case of an enterprise, it can be the chief executive officer, the chief financial officer and so on. Now coming to what is information. Information is the useful content and knowledge that we derive from raw facts and figures, which is data. Raw fact and figure is data and information is that in useful knowledge that we derive from data after processing that data and analyzing it. So we can say information is interpreted data and this information is used for decision making by the person who is using or utilizing that information. Coming to our third term which is a system. So a system is nothing but a collection of multiple components or parts which are interconnected so that they can accomplish a given task okay so all these components communicate with each other they collaborate to accomplish the task that has been assigned to them now before we proceed further let us delve a little into what is the difference between data and information so that when we understand MIS more clearly there are no more doubts so data, as I just stated, are raw values. They are not processed. They are just facts and figures which cannot be utilized in any kind of decision making. So when we need to make any decision in an organization, we need some patterns, some trends which come from data after the data has been analyzed and processed and when the data is processed into a form so that it becomes meaningful and useful for making decisions whether in an enterprise whether in a educational institute banking sector or any other organization then we say that we have some useful information so in short form data when undergoes processing it becomes information okay so data is raw values information is the meaningful content derived after processing the data now before we understand mis or management information system let us first understand what is an information system in general so by definition any information system what it does is is it gathers some data and then processes that data to create information out of that data. And this information is used for making decisions. Now, let me explain this using certain examples in real life. So, uh, one major example is GPS or the any app that you use to find out the routes to any particular destination, right? So what data it is utilizing? It is utilizing the data that it has been that has been feeded into that GPS app uh, related to the routes that are there related to the traffic on the ground. And then it is using that data, processing it to give you that information that out of all the possible routes, this is the fastest one. Then based on this information, you decide how to reach your destination. Another information system is the airplane tracking system. So this airplane tracking system, again, a combination of software and hardware units. That is why it is a system. So it contains the data about all the planes that are present on the ground, all the flights that are scheduled, their timings and the passenger details. And what information it gives to the uh, users? It is giving the information about what flights are planned at this current moment, which flights are taking off and which 
are about to land so based on this information if any decision has to be taken by the airport authority about rescheduling of the flights then that can be done again another example is the malls that you visit the uh, or any e-commerce stores or websites that you visit so basically a lot of data is present in such shops and stores regarding the different products that are present inside that and the customers which are buying those products so which products are getting sold more frequently and which products are not getting sold all the data is present in an information system that is used by any mall and the information that the uh, management of that mall gets from this data is that which products need to be more focused by the uh, sellers so that their sale also increases so based on this generally products which are not sold frequently are placed near to the products which are famous among the people right so that when a person enters the mall he at least gives a glance to the products which are less uh, uh, bought by the people so these strategies are taken up by the management of the mall that are running those stores so that they can decide how to uh, move ahead with their sales of the products and so on similarly there are uh, cabs that the the information system in cabs that you get the education institutes they utilize student data and then they decide how many more uh, maybe classrooms they have to bring up then how the infrastructure has to be expanded and basic information like ki what stocks are present in the stock market what has been their performance in the past and what needs to be purchased so all these are very good examples of information systems that we use in our daily lives now coming to the final slide which is the management information system so firstly a management information system or an mis is an information system right so what it will do it will do that basic task of taking data as input processing or analyzing that data and then creating some useful information from that data because that is the function of any information system now the additional thing in management information system is that it not only takes the data it processes it converts it into information but this information is then utilized by the management of an organization and this information is then helped helpful in decision making so any information system that is coming to use to the management of an organization for making decisions on the information that they are getting from that system such a system is known as a management information system so uh, just to summarize in a few lines a system is a collection of components that work together to achieve a task an information system is any system that takes data produces information and that information can be used by the users so the when this information is utilized by the management or the top level bosses of the company of the organization it becomes an management information system so that's all for today's video i hope you have understood all these concepts thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam